Welcome back, everybody. We're joined once again by international celebrity and famed gin magnate, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan, thanks so much for sticking around with us. I, I want to ask you a personal question as long as I've got here for a moment. What do you think Please. of the setup of, of the, the show so far? We're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. What do you, what do you think yeah. of the look or anything like that? Well, uh, going forward, I don't know why any of us need to return to normalcy uh, other than to prop up a, a flagging economy and, and, yep. and help a whole bunch of people. But hmm. yeah, that, I think the system looks pretty good there. I Thanks. mean, you got your whole family pitching in. It's a uh, you know, beautiful backdrop, books that I'm sure you've actually read. Um, for the most part. Yeah, I've you read know, this I have one. A, I have a record this player one. I've never used. And, you know. I've read this one. That's my oh, book. Oh, yes, you yeah. have. I am America. Oh. Now, what about, let me ask you this, if you don't mind, because you're a professional and you're, you're known, I don't know if you're known as a fashion plate, but people find you attractive. And I don't understand, sure. to each his own. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the outfit tonight? Because I wore a suit for the first two nights in the house here. Yeah. And we held an online poll and 71% of respondents said that I should no longer wear a suit. What do you, what do you think? How casual well, should I get? I, this is, what, what is Steven on the weekend? Is this Steven on the week? Like, would this be on the weekend or is it not, not even close to this, is it? No, a t-shirt, uh, t-shirt, uh, halter top and short shorts. Most okay, of the time. so you don't, don't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think that you want to look like you've hit F it. I think you want to look like you, you, you care in this sure. matter. So I like that you've got a, you know, nice, nice casual check shirt there and beautiful navy blue uh, uh, blazer. I think you're doing just fine. When you uh, were a you're young actor, going full Winnie the Pooh underneath that thing, I meant 100 percent, 100 percent talking it. Just a cod piece. <laughs> yes, right. Just a rhinestone which, cod piece, which doubles as a as a as a mask in a crisis. Yeah, I'm only I'm only wearing baby powder under here. Uh, so hey, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. As a young actor, when you were when you, when they would say, "Okay, this show up, it's two o'clock, it's at this casting agency, nice casual," what yeah. does that mean to you? Oh, oh man, I remember the the first time I ever my first audition I ever had was for a garbage bag commercial starring Eddie Shack, who I don't think you maybe you probably don't know who he's a famous hockey player. Oh sure, NHL. Eddie Shack, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 man, right. The stick um, and the thing, and it goes. <clears throat> Yeah, this this is this, this is thirty odd years ago, so I don't know if old Eddie's around anymore. But uh, but I remember they they had that same sort of thing, just dressed nice, casual. So I I didn't know what that meant, but I know that I did show up wearing a thin leather tie that had piano keys on it. I wow. I sure pretty sure I looked like uh, any decade Paul Schaefer, uh, and I that's what I wore. Yeah, or an extra from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or or anyone in the crew of Saved by the Bell. I, um, oh, I auditioned for Saved by the Bell. No. That was my first professional audition. 1986, Wait, really? they came to Chicago. I was a student at Northwestern University. And I don't know, somebody had seen me do something. I don't know, somebody had scouted me at school. I got called down to a casting agent on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. I walk in, they hand me the thing, and I was auditioning for a part of, I, was the character's name Screech? Was that? <laughs> Was it Screech? Come on. Really? No, I auditioned for Screech. Is this true? And I, I'm not joking. I Dustin I Diamond? Did, yes. Getting the role of Screech? And I auditioned for this part of Screech. And let me tell you how big I was. Imagine how that character ended up in broadcast. I did yeah. my audition and they said to me, um, there's a term you're going to want to need to know about as a professional. It's called over the top. Yeah. You, you, just, <laughs> went, you just went over the top. Don't don't yeah. do that anymore. And then yeah. I saw the subtle, I saw no, the yeah, subtle was... interplay of status dynamics that yes. Dustin Diamond brought to that part. And yes. I went, Screech was not a bad. nuanced role. Screech was not uh, anything. It was it was not the my left foot role that you thought it would be. I, I have to let you go. Obviously, legally, I I'm required to let yeah, you go. What what am I, what what's your background there? You look like you're uh, the back. Uh, I'm in this. Uh, oh, there's Deadpool. Little uh, oh. Deadpool. Uh, Mac. He's, Wait, how is he? How is he handling the coronavirus he's, epidemic? He's doing well. He's doing okay. Um, you know, this is a, a room that I've managed to cordon off for this particular interview, which is really nice. It's it's nice to be alone once in a while, forever. Sure. Uh, so this is really for night. This has been really. I mean, my my mother-in-law uh, this morning did yoga, but in the kitchen. Um, and I tell you, I I discovered about eighteen new facial expressions. Uh huh. Hot yoga. At that. Uh, it, Just, it got hot. 
it got just very cock hot. up the doors uh, and put the oven yeah, on broil. Just, full. I mean, she's in excellent shape for a woman of advancing years. I mean, she's 73 and she spins on the ground, legs in the air, break dancing moves, all kinds of stuff. It's not actual yoga, but it is pretty wild. What, while I got you, can we do a selfie before you go? Heck yeah, I'm ready. Oh, this is weird and fun. <laughs> Ryan, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Stay safe. It's away that easy. I'm doing one too. There okay, okay. I got it. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Um, thank you so much for what you and Blake are doing for not only the people who are a food insecure right now in the United States and Canada, but for the service industry workers. And um, thank you so much for being here. And please stay safe and give our best to your lovely family and your mother-in-law and tell her I'll be you over too. for yoga in the morning. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, Stephen. Best to your family. Stay safe and healthy. And thanks for having me on. Peace. Appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye. Check out our Twitter for more information on Aviation Gin and Mint Mobile. Ryan Reynolds, everybody. We'll be right back.